Hii ni pep, hii ni prep. Pep unakunywa wakati tayari umekuwa exposed. Tuseme umefanya mapenzi na mtu mwenye hujui hali yake. Well, pep and prep. All right? Drugs that are taken are uh, to uh, prevent that is a uh, HIV infection or anti HIV drugs. So that's uh, what this particular video today is all about. We're going to learn from a specialist what exactly PrEP is and what exactly PEP is. How do these particular drugs uh, work? Of course, maybe umeski about PEP, umeski about PrEP, but you keep on wondering how do these particular drugs work? So today I'm coming to you uh, from Langata Dream. It is a uh, faith-based uh, organization that of course is lo uh, located in Langata and they offer a variety of uh, health services including PrEP and uh, and PEP services or rather uh, HIV services and they do that are uh, free of charge all right so let us learn together from Grace Makani as I mentioned in terms of what PrEP is and what PEP is. Is it that one PEP? 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 unakunywa wakati tayari umekuwa exposed. Tuseme umefanya mapenzi na mtu mwenye hujui hali yake. Hata kama umejua hali yake na si mpenzi wako, utaenda kwa facility upimwe. Ukishapimwa confirm you are HIV negative, utakunywa PEP for 28 days. After 28 days, unaenda to the same facility or any other facility if you have traveled, you get tested. Then after testing 28 days, you will wait for another 60 days. Then you go to confirm your status. So that is 90 days in general, isn't it? You've gone and confirmed you are HIV negative. If you know that you are somebody, maybe you've taken PEP like three times in a year, then you have to enroll for PrEP. Now PrEP means that you, this is a pre-exposure prophylaxis. Hii ni kwamba inakuzuia usipate virusi. PrEP inajukuliwa seven days before, before you go and expose yourself. Seven good days. Then you can have the exposure. But again, it's good wakati unakuwa na exposure. Maybe this is somebody you know. You may have exposure na mtu mwenye kuna very high viral load. Uchikute umeambukizwa. Kwa sababu maybe kama kuna very high viral load and unfortunately maybe you had another sexual sexually sexual infection you can get infected. So hii prep pia inataka you do it with somebody you are faithful to. Faithful partners works very well with with prep. Yeah. So prep can be continued can be stopped it depending on how frequent you have that exposure with that person who is HIV positive. If you stay away from your partner, then you will not take PrEP. You will only take it when you are preparing to travel and you will take it seven days before exposure. And when you are on PrEP, there are tests that must be done. Maybe after six months, they'll check your kidneys and your liver and the level of blood. But for PrEP, when you complete, you don't go again for any other test, your liver, kidneys. Na PrEP wakati umeanza because maybe your partner akona virusi, if there is continuity of treatment, you will take it for the rest of your life so long as you are living with that partner. You will only stop it when you are away from them for more than one, one month, more than two months. But once you are staying together, there is continuity of treatment so that you don't risk at any time to be infected by your partner. Well, so I hope that uh, you've been able to learn about uh, PEP and PrEP, how both of these drugs are used in terms of uh, HIV prevention. So once again, that uh, was uh, Grace Makani from uh, Langata Dream or an adherence counselor at uh, Langata Dream. And uh, if you've learned something or uh, if this particular video has been informative to you, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for such video and other videos or other very informative and educative videos about your health. My name is Aida Muzati. Thank you so much for watching this particular video and your health matters.